yesterday I have my Ipsy bag for July that I wanted to unbag for you. I've been going back and forth with Ipsy now for a while, whether I should cancel, whether I should. The last couple of boxes that I've received, I've really, really liked, so I haven't canceled. But at any moment, I could say peace to this bag because uh, I've gone on and off with getting really, really good bags and then getting some really mediocre bags and then getting some really crappy bags. So this month of July, I have the bag for you and I really, really like this. If you haven't heard of Ipsy before, it is a $10 a month subscription bag and you get products, you get the bag, and then it's full of about four or five products from some brands you know, some you don't. I like it because it's $10 a month and I've gotten some really cool products that I wouldn't have otherwise picked up. But, but it's up to you uh, as to if you're worth it or not because I know on the times when you don't get products that you like, you're like, oh, why did I spend $10 on that bag when I could have just gotten something else? So let's just see what came in the July bag. This is the bag right here. Super cute. I really, really like this bag. I like the design of it. It's kind of like a canvas fabric. And let's see what came in it. First things first, I love this bronzer. This is from Tarte. It's the Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. This is the best color ever. It's like, this makes the perfect bronze and blush color, especially in the summer months. I love this all over the face. I have this in full size and in a sample or deluxe size like this. So I'm not gonna swatch this one, I'm gonna pass it along, but like very, very cute packaging. And I really, really love this. It's called Park Avenue Princess Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer. This is the one with the shimmer, but they also have one with a matte. If you are looking for a really good bronzer, I highly recommend this one. Love it. This was a staple of mine last year. I need to pull it out again because because it's such a good bronzer. So that is a good product to come inside the bag because this is a really good size. I mean, this size would last for quite a while. And then you can decide or not if you want the full size. Okay, next up is an eyeliner from iTeeny. Now, I have tried a few products from iTeeny. This is called Swizzle Stick, and it's in Blue Hawaiian, which is a really pretty, looks like a really pretty and unique color. I love a blue liner, but I've gotten a lot of navy liners in my Ipsy bag, but this color looks different, and I really, really like the brightness of it. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to be keeping this. That will be super fun to put in the waterline. I'm definitely gonna try that out. Just like a pop of color in the waterline. Beautiful, beautiful, bright, vibrant blue um, color. And it doesn't say anywhere if it is waterproof or not, so I'm not quite sure. But this looks like such a pretty color and it seems like it's pretty opaque. So I'm excited about that because that's a very unique color and like I said, I typically have been getting uh, navy liners in my bag, which I do like a navy liner, but I have so many of them I like to pass them on. So this is something different. Okay, I got a Cool Way Beach Salt Spray or Beachy Salt Spray. This says, shake well, apply liberally to damp or dry hair to give like a beachy, Style. I want to smell this because I like it when you it just really smells like salt. I was gonna say I like I just spit everywhere. Um, I like it when these smell like like actual like beach, but this one just really smells like salt. So, but I definitely think I'll get some use out of this because it's like a small travel size. This would be perfect to pack away in a bag if you want to take like a beachy spray if you're going on any type of beach vacation or you just want those waves. So um, I'm going to hang on to this and try it out. Okay, can I get a what what? I got some tweezers from Crown. I'm always in search of high and low of some good tweezers. I can always use tweezers. I have a couple of pairs of tweezers and I find some of them I've like jacked up because I got some glue on them from trying to put lashes on and those just never recover. They're just never the same after that. So these feel really nice. They're slanted tweezers um, from Crown Brush. So I really, really like these. They feel nice and sharp like they will pick up um, little tiny hairs. Like I should just do like a little eye check and check about. You feel, oh yeah, oh they grab one of my little hairs, holy smokes. I think I'm gonna like these a lot and that's really nice to get a really nice pair of tweezers in the bag because you know tweezers, 
Tweezers got a lot of money. I went to the store to look at some tweezers and a good pair of tweezers can cost like 24 bucks. So I'm really, and these feel like heavy and stuff. They feel legit. So I'm excited about that. Okay, the last product in the bag is Bear from Bear Republic. And this looks like it is a natural mineral sunscreen tinted face with broad spectrum SPF 30. And it's from, I guess this was powered by Kula, which I've tried a lot of their products before and love them. So let's just look. It feels different. It smells, it smells a little bit like, kind of like a, I would say, it feels almost like a primer would, interestingly enough, since it's a mineral sunscreen. It says it's available at Target. The smell is like a hint of like a tropical smell, but not very much at all, just kind of like a sunscreen slash tropical smell. This is nice, perfect little thing kind of to pack in the purse just to make sure you always have sunscreen with you. I know I live in Texas and it's imperative to be putting sunscreen on. So this is perfect little travel size. And like I said, it says on the back that you can find this brand at Target. Okay, that was it for my Ipsy bag this month. I really liked this particular bag. I thought the array of products this month was really, really good. Let me know what you guys got inside of your Ipsy bag. You guys are always great about telling me in the comments below if you guys got some of the same things or if you got different things or if you hated your bag or if you loved your bag. If you are interested in signing up for your own Ipsy subscription, it's $10 a month. I will leave the link down below. It is a referral link. I don't get money, but I do get points on the Ipsy website. If you do have an Ipsy subscription, you haven't been happy with what you've been getting inside your bag, make sure that you're signing on to do the reviews on it. I know that I, I mean, I pay for my bag every single month and I make sure that I go on and do the reviews of the products so that if I got something that I don't really like or if I'm sick of getting nail polishes, there's a place for you to say that you don't want any more nail polishes or that you know you didn't like that, you don't want to be sent anything from that particular brand again. I know I was getting like a lot of mineral eyeshadows and I just recently went on and said no more mineral eyeshadows. Like I don't want any from any brand. So make sure if you are happy you are filling out those reviews because I know that that could be helpful feedback for Ipsy um, just to cater a little bit more to your bag so that you can be getting something that you do like. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.